Welcome guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about PHP functions. So by default, PHP provide us some predefined functions. And we have the option to create custom functions all by ourselves if we need to. And we will be doing that in coming videos as well. So currently I have this php.net page open where you can see the complete list of PHP functions. So there are so many functions and uh, you can try them you can use them this is something that you need to do and a bit practice you will be fluent in this so for example we have an array uh, fill here and then it says fill an array with values we have a filter we have a flip so these uh, are the functions provided by php let me show you how exactly we can use so i have the text editor open here and if our project page is currently blank here because in my body I have a PHP opening tag as well as PHP closing tag and then I have an array with the few names in it so what I want to do I want to show you what exactly happens when we use these functions so what I do I take this dollar array and I say echo dollar array now because we are uh, echoing out array we are going to get an error so have a look it says array to string conversion so in previous videos if you notice we used uh, echo we use print to print the values but when it comes to array we need to use print underscore r now this is the function that prints the array so you need to uh, remember this that whenever you want to print array you use print underscore r so if I go now there refresh the page we get zero index, name Roger, one, Sam, two, Andrew. So now what I want to do is I want to check like uh, what happens if I use this function, uh, one of the function here. So I say array flip, let's try that one. So I simply go here, I say array underscore flip. And I'm gonna pass this array inside it. All right, next, now I'm gonna cut this from here. And I'm going to put it inside it here. I'm going to get a semicolon here. Now, if I refresh the page, you will notice that we have Roger here as a, the key and zero as a value. So, if uh, before it was zero, then Roger, and now it completely reversed it. Now, if I remove it, you can see it back. So, what I do, I simply uh, copy this line here so you can see the difference and here I'm just gonna remove this now if I go here okay we need to uh, I'm going to put a break here so if you All right, you can see that in the uh, top one, we have array simply and then array flip, so it's totally flipped it. Now we have another function that we can use on arrays to check how many values we have in array. So what I do is simply comment this part. And here I'm gonna say, uh, let's echo count. And I'm going to pass the array inside it. So just like that. And you can see the uh, it's going to give us four because we have four values in our array. Now we have more functions here. We can deal with strings as well. Let's uh, do that. But I do recommend this one out. And I'm going to say here dollar line, and then it's going to be some content for uh, learning. Just a basic string here. And what I'm going to do? I'm going to count the characters so we can do this here I'm gonna say str len and we pass the variable so our variable is dollar line I save this 
we go here, refresh, it tells us it's the it has 25 uh, characters in it. So this is how you use the PHP functions. Now we also have a few more functions like you can search for something like if I say string uh, let's go replace. So what we can do here is like if I want some content you can see here we already have search replace and subject so in place of subject we need to pass the line replace is what you want to do uh, here so I say uh, yay maybe there and search for content so this is what we need to search all right so this is it's gonna do then I'm gonna say echo okay so okay I made a mistake here I missed a call here I'm gonna save this now we refresh we get some yeah for learning now you get the idea it's search for content replaced it with yeah and uh, inside this uh, string so this is how you use uh, PHP functions so PHP functions uh, those are provided predefined are there to help us and you will be using a lot of these functions in your program so whenever we work on website we get user data you will be checking like there is data present or not present so we have uh, uh, functions that we can use we have statements that we can use these things make our program better so uh, I do recommend you that you do have a look on this link link uh, this link is in the description check and uh, try to practice few of these functions this function is going to give you the idea how things work so we can handle different type of data here we can even put values in array or by array push or replace values in array all kind of things we can do something uh, like this we can't cover every single function here but it is the concept that how you use it and in the coming videos you will be seeing that how we use these functions as well I know.